Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave. That way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. Today's pick a card reading is going to be about will I get what I'm praying for? Actually, one of you guys requested this and so I was really, it really resonated. I thought it would be a great idea for a pick a card reading too. So we're here. Okay. So what I'm going to need you guys to do is pick a card group number or whatever's on top of the cards. So card group number one or the bay leaf, card group number two or the sage bundle, card group number three or the peacock feather, card group number four or the palo santo. So go ahead and make your pick. And also, I do want to make a quick announcement that there is a sale going on in my store. For any of you guys that are interested, um, go ahead and head over. Let's go ahead and start the reading. For everybody that picked card group number one or the bay leaf, let's go ahead and see, will you get what you're praying for? Okay, so the first card here is Surrender to Joy. And then we have right next to it, trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So this is telling me right here that you can very well get anything that you're praying for, anything that you're trying to manifest. But a block here is that you don't allow yourself to be joyous and happy. You don't give in to the happy, positive energy that the universe presents to you. It could be because you're dimming your light to fit in. So how are you dimming your light? Because you're not surrendering yourself to joy and it's actually creating this wall between you and what you're trying to bring into your life. Um, yeah, you're, it's, it feels like a mental block that is coming in between you and your manifestation. It's all in the mind. If you can see this person right here, they have a lot of like energy in their mind, which means your crown chakra could be pretty overactive and that means like when you have way too much energy in your mind there's a lot of overactive thoughts chaotic just like your mind feels cluttered and busy um yeah it's just not at rest so you are being called to enter into an energy of reflection and we have the number four here too the number four is the number for our root chakra and our root chakra governs our trust in people, trust in life, our foundation, survival, security, stability. So it's time for you to kind of go within and reflect on all of those things. And I mean, what is it that is making you not trust in the universe or the divine? What is it that's making you not trust in your relationships? Um, like, what is it? It's time for you to reflect and be honest and really tell yourself the truth um, because it's going to open up doorways um, so that you can get your manifestation because the question here is, will I get what I'm praying for? And the answer for you is yes, of course. It's like, there's no question about it, um, but you need to open your eyes and see the opportunities that are out there and see, um, you know, there's energies out there that want to give you what you want, but it's very, very important for you to, first of all, get like, no, reflect on what it is that you want, get specific, get in detail. What is it that you want? What color is it? What does it feel like? What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? get into the details because it's going to raise your vibration and bring you joy. The more and more that you get into the details of what you want, it's going to be very, very powerful for you. The card next to the reflection card is relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So here it's just confirming the message that there is a change that needs to happen so that you can receive everything that you are praying for. And this pattern, I really feel like it comes from within you. It's, it's patterns that you have created within yourself that are kind of creating walls and blocks towards you and your manifestation. The next card we have here is embrace your emotions. Ooh, so open yourself up, open your eyes to your emotions allow your feelings to surface and be accepted so don't turn a blind eye to your emotions go into reflection and really look at everything and 
be honest with yourself because uh, I really feel like that is what is the block here. Um, it's just you allowing yourself to get inside of your own head and not like keeping yourself so busy or ignoring your thoughts, you know? Um, the next card we have here is Two of Cups. So there is a connection in your life. There's a relationship. There's a bond in your life that is really, really helping you, trying to really give you good advice, just really genuinely cares about you. And they give you a lot of advice, but I do feel like you take it in a different way. Because judging by these cards right here, you have created relationship patterns um, that don't allow you to embrace your emotions, um, that don't allow you to be vulnerable. So it's time for you to change that. Reflect that and or go into reflection so that you can bring in your light so that you can attract everything that you were meant to attract. Now, two things that you are being called to do to invite your manifestations into your life even faster is sync with the moon, which we did have a full moon yesterday. And the full moon energy lasts for up to three days after the full moon. So it's still potent. The energy is still there. Work with the moon. Um, what I would recommend is probably light a candle, incense, do your manifestation rituals and techniques like today or maybe the next few days because the energy is strong and potent. Um, another thing you're being called to do is make a meal. Create art with your food and also watch what you're intaking into your body because your body is like your temple basically i know we've heard that so many times but your body is your treasure it's 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 a part of you it's your physical body that is coding your spirit you know so it's important to watch what goes in your body be mindful when you're cooking like you know show love to every ingredient that you are putting into your food um, and I really think that this is going to be very therapeutic and it's also going to help you uh, and open doors for you. You know, when you cook with basil, basil is really good if you're in relationships, it brings harmony. You can cook with fenugreek seeds, that's really good for abundance. You can cook with cinnamon, that's for attraction. So ingredients carry energies, herbs carry energies. So work with herbs when you are cooking. Um, and the last card that comes up for you is to create art. So yes, you're being called to get creative. Stop dimming your creative energy because it's very important for you to attract what you want. So another thing that you might want to do is burn bay leaves. So whatever it is that you're praying for or asking for or trying to manifest, write it on a bay leaf and burn it within the next few days because of that full moon energy that we're having. It'll be really beneficial. Make it artistic, like make a little altar or just get really creative in whatever way that you feel creative. Get creative with your manifestations because they're there. They're definitely coming to you. All you need to do is a little bit of work in a few areas and you will see the manifestations appear in your life so beautifully. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want to book a reading with me, go ahead and do so on my Etsy shop and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. For everyone that picked card group number two or the sage bundle, let's go ahead and see, will you get what you're praying for? Okay, the first card we have here is surrender procrastination. And then we have it right next to surrender to trust. Then we have it right next to surrender negative thinking. Then we have transformation. This right here is such a powerful spread right there in itself. So you're being told that you can definitely get what you're praying for. You can definitely achieve it and attain it and manifest it. There's no question about it. But it does seem like you don't even allow yourself to think about what you want to manifest. It's almost like you're scared because you don't trust that you'll receive it. You don't trust that you'll get it. Or you don't trust that it's going to be easy to come to you. And that is something that you have to let go of. It's time for you to start thinking about everything you want versus thinking about all the reasons that it won't come to you. So stop thinking about the lack and the scarcity and all the reasons it won't happen. You have to surrender to trust and let go of all the negative thinking you have towards your manifestation. Say if you're trying to manifest love, but then on the other hand, there's a part of you that believes or doesn't even trust that true love exists or doesn't even trust that 
a good partner exists. You know, there's so many different kinds of negative thoughts um, that come when it comes to love. But you're being asked to stop thinking about the bad and stop thinking about the negative. Transform your thoughts. Um, another thing that I see here is things are changing at a cellular level. There's deep healing going on. So um, this deep healing is a part of your emotional and spiritual journey where you're letting go of a lot and also a lot is coming up. We did just have the full moon in Scorpio yesterday and that full moon is all about like Scorpio goes and digs deep inside of you and takes out all the garbage. So <laughs> I feel like that is what's happening and it's making like this stuff um, heavy right now where you it's very hard for you to trust in the universe, trust in your relationships, even trust in yourself, and just trust that your manifestations can even come to you. But that is all changing. I do see a shift in your mentality regarding all of this. Um, and things are healing at a cellular level, which means you're gonna feel it in your physical body. You're gonna feel more energized. You're gonna feel more inspired and motivated. Um, that is the transformation that's happening within you because you are going to manifest what you are praying for. Promise of the future. Here we have Ganesha looking out into the horizon and just telling you that he is there to give you everything you want. But it's important for you to go through this journey so that you can start to trust in the universe again, trust in love, trust in abundance, trust in yourself and stop procrastinating, stop waiting until the last minute to do something for yourself. Stop waiting until the last minute to think about something for yourself. Um, yeah, and then the card right here is Knight of Swords. So Swords energy is all about your mind. So here, I feel like you swallow a lot of your emotions. You keep it in, you bottle it in, and it cuts deep. It affects you very very deeply and it's a huge reason why you have a hard time trusting that your manifestations are going to come because you bottle up so much of your emotions now here we have the ten of pentacles this is all about the material world so whatever you're trying to manifest has a lot to do with the material world with the physical world you definitely want to bring in something into your reality but you have a hard time trusting that it will come now something that you're being called to do is deep breathing so what this card is telling me is that you allow anxiety to consume you sometimes you allow your negative thinking your mistrust and just putting things off for yourself especially until the last minute so these are things that actually are healing so that's a good thing um, but you are being called to breathe don't forget to breathe you know sometimes we forget to just take a deep breath and you're just you're being called to really really focus on your breath because there is stagnant energy now it's two different things it's like stagnant energy and then we have overactive chaotic energy so if you see the butterfly here the butterfly has wings but it also has feet so you're it's like a, a struggle between your spiritual self and your physical reality so you're being called to breathe so that you can merge the two and have balance um, another thing that i do see is that you guys were really drawn to sage uh, which by the way i did restock sage on my shop if you are interested in purchasing from me and there is a sale going on so head over there if you want to but it is important for you to cleanse your energy cleanse your body cleanse your home um use sage burn sage in your home open a window to let all that negative energy that stagnant energy um that block kind of energy let it go Keep, release it from your life from your house from your body another thing that you're being called to do is slow down so something that is coming in between you and your manifestation is that you live in that hustle mentality, which I think that hustle culture has been glorified and like that busy lifestyle has just been glorified where if you're not busy and productive and hustling, then you're not, you know, it, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to achieve anything, which is not true. It's very important for you to slow down. 
pause and allow things to unfold allow like trust just trust that it's coming because it's coming you got a message from Ganesh himself that it's coming okay and then it's so important for you to rest and retreat and pause and it's okay for you to do that I actually just uploaded a video a reading this week um, and it was the entire reading was all about it's okay to take a break so I really feel like there's messages in there that are really important for you if you want to check that out or probably you already have checked that out and the last card we have here is spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime so there's somebody in your life that the connection is so deep and so strong and it's beyond this human form and it's okay for you to indulge yourself in that connection it could be a romantic connection it could be connection with your pets it could be a connection with your mom or dad or your siblings or your best friend your children whoever it is a mentor but it's a spiritual connection that defies like our physical reality and you you both know it it's like you've known each other for lifetimes um, so when you do rest and retreat, it's okay for you to pause and kind of just pay more attention to this relationship because I do feel like it's going to allow you to trust more. It's okay for you to trust in this relationship. Um, don't bottle up your emotions, talk about things, breathe and slow down. And these are all things that are happening with you right now because things are transforming, things are changing, and things are transforming and changing so that you can achieve what it is you want to manifest. So I hope that this reading gave you guidance and clarity. If you guys want to book a reading with me, I have several different options on my Etsy shop, so you can head over there um, if you're interested. But thank you guys so much for watching. For everybody the pick card group number three or the peacock feather, let's go ahead and see, will you get what you're praying for? The first card we have here is surrender to silence. And then right next to it, we have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Okay, the card right next to that is very important. It says stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. This is really, really interesting, okay? And then we have the card right next to it, which is pointing upwards, pyramid pointing upwards. This, this is really, really powerful. This is really deep. And then we have the woman that's flying. So it's a lot of, your, your vibration is raising. It's already happening. You're already doing it. Your vibration is raising. And sometimes it kind of scares you. Kind of scares you, right? Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of scares you because sometimes when our, our vibration rises, we have a hard time letting go of our old vibration. We kind of like, it's kind of like you win a million dollars, right? That's a whole new vibration. But if you're still stuck in your lack mentality, scarcity mentality, uh, or you're afraid you're going to lose it really quickly or whatever, or you, you know, you just come across so much money um, and you don't know how to handle it or whatever, like you have to match your vibration with your new vibration. And it's very important to let go of old outdated vibes, which I think is what is going on with you right now. So you see your manifestation is coming. I, I have a feeling that this manifestation has to do with love. So again, like say you manifest love or you're trying to manifest love, you have to let go of the outdated beliefs that you have about love. So say, you know, something happened in your childhood where you stop trusting in men or stop trusting in women or stop trusting in love. And now you want to manifest love. You have to let go of that, you know, that I can't trust people, you know? So that's just an example. It could be any kind of outdated belief about yourself. And one huge way that you let go of the old beliefs and stories that you've created within yourself is to surrender yourself to silence, which means you have to get into your mind. And it doesn't always have to be through meditation or complete silence. For me, silence means I could be cooking or cleaning. Those are the things that I, like I do to get inside my own head. It might be a little bit weird, but I like to do those things. Or when I'm creating products for my Etsy shop, I go into this like meditation when I'm cleaning or cooking or creating something. It's like me going into my mind, but I'm still physically doing something. So that's my silence. Find a way where you can silence the world around you and get inside your head. 
because your vibration is raising insanely. It's just, it's beautiful. And it's very important for you to let go of the old vibrations, let go of the old. You're already doing it. You're already, you've already stepped into that new vibration, that new like energy. But you, it's like you have one foot in and one foot behind you, you know? Um, the next card we have here is the Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Interesting. So, whatever it is that you're praying for or manifesting, it's almost like it's natural. Like, you can't even help yourself wanting this because it's something that you've had for lifetimes. It's something or someone that you feel this connection to that just, it goes beyond reality it's just very strong um the next card we have here is leap you go first and the universe will catch you so stop being so afraid to embrace and accept your new vibration your new reality because everything you're praying for everything you want to manifest you're stepping right into it you have one foot in it um and it's okay to put both your feet in it don't be afraid generosity so here what you're being called to do is um the lack of mentality, yeah. Be generous with your love. Be generous with positive energy. I do feel like there's a fear of embracing good things in your life because maybe something has happened to you in the past um, that makes you afraid to uh, like accept good things, accept love, accept compliments, gifts and all that stuff. So the the message for you here is it's okay for you to accept all of that. It, it's meant to come to you. Uh, it's it's lifetimes worth of energy that is coming to back to you. Like it's like karmic energy. You've done such beautiful things in your life. Um, and a lot of it has to do with love energy in lifetimes. And that's why you are so drawn to love. And so just leap, go, go for it. It's okay. Um, the card, the next two cards we have here are Queen of Cups and King of Cups. Emotions. This has a lot to do with your emotions. You have a lot of outdated emotions. You have a lot of emotions that you are keeping and holding on to and just really overthinking that you need to let go of. You have to let go of it because it's preventing you from just this light weight energy. Like it's almost like this heavy energy that it's keeping you. It's keeping, it's like bolting you down and keeping you in chains. So it's important for you to release your emotions. Now, this has a lot to do with love too. So it's okay for you to give your heart, okay? And whoever you are about to give your heart to, if you're manifesting love, it's okay for you to be open and express yourself and communicate. And this is for everybody. Whether you're trying to manifest love or you have a partner already and you're just trying to manifest more love in the relationship, whatever it is, please understand that it's okay for you to be vulnerable. It's okay for you to express your emotions. Say what you feel. Lay everything out on the table. It's okay. Be generous with your emotions, okay? And then we have King of Cups. This is very, very love, like, love energy um the card next to that is demonstrate love find out what is important to those you love and act on it okay so sometimes uh when we try to manifest love whether you're manifesting new love or just manifesting love in a current relationship we often want the other person to show us love not even realizing that we also have to show love we have to demonstrate love so find out what it is if you guys are in relationships Find out what it is that your partner likes that makes them happy, little things, and do that. Demonstrate that love because it's going to help you so much. It's going to open so much roads, so much paths for you. Demonstrate love. Okay, and then we have the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. Okay, and then we have a journal card right next to it. This is really interesting because the way that these four cards are lined up, it's okay for you to leap into this relationship and you know everything that you're praying for, everything that you're trying to manifest, it's okay for you to do it. Stop thinking that you don't deserve it. Stop thinking it's not for you. Stop all the negative thoughts about it because this is a love. Whether you're in a relationship or you're trying to attract somebody, whoever's coming or whoever's in your life right now, it's a powerful union. It's almost like the soulmate kind of an energy. Now, 
One thing you're being called to do is to journal and be very, very generous to yourself when you're journaling. So write down everything you want to manifest in detail. So you have to stop overthinking about the negative, surrender yourself, go inside of your mind, journal, write out everything you want in detail and be generous with yourself, okay? Because you will attract this love. This love is coming. Peacock feathers. If you guys have seen my video um, about the symbolism of peacock feathers, it's all about love. Peacock feathers, like when they choose their mate, it's for life. Um, peacocks are very romantic and just love energy, beautiful love energy, protection and beauty and love. It's just your reading is all about love. And so, yes, love is coming. Yes, you can manifest it. But a message from the Ganesh Oracle too is you have to be generous with yourself. Stop with the outdated beliefs. Be generous with yourself. Like I keep wanting to say that. Be kind to yourself. Allow yourself to look or to write down. Yeah, to look at everything it is that you want and deserve. Write it all down because it's coming. It, it's coming. Um, yeah. It's definitely coming. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you guys want to book a reading with me, go ahead and head over to my Etsy shop and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. For everyone that picked card group number four or the Palo Santo stick, let's go ahead and see, will you get what you're praying for? Okay, the first card we have here is interesting. We have surrender stubbornness. Right next to that, we have birthing a new age. Okay, so it's like, you know what you want to manifest. You're praying for it. You're trying to manifest it actively. But you're also kind of stubborn in like if it comes to you and if it comes right in front of your face or maybe it already has come right in front of your face. You're very stubborn in letting go of the old. Um, yeah, it's like you're stubborn with yourself and you're not being open to what you're trying to manifest. Um, so uh, the best example I can give is like, say you're trying to manifest love, right? And you do, you attract it and it's in your life, but then you become extremely suspicious or you get fearful or you think you can't trust your partner or it, do you see like all these old dark beliefs that are still stuck with you, but you manifested what you wanted, but you're holding on to the darkness. You're very stubborn about it. So I do feel like a lot of you guys have almost manifested what you're praying for. It's like, it's there, it's in front of your face, but there's an aspect of yourself that is very stubborn in accepting it because you're like, okay, you're too good to be true. This is too good to be true. Like, is this real? And the message for you here from your ancestors are yes. This is real. This is true. This is something you've been wanting. You've been trying to manifest. So why are you still standing in the past? Why are you still stuck in the dark? Because it's time for you to open up and embrace what you're praying for. So another thing that I do see is there's a lot of spirit guides around you, whether it's your ancestors, spirit guides, uh, people that you love that have passed away like there's energies around you angels whatever it is you believe in they're around you you know your uh, familiars they're around you they're constantly trying to guide you and giving you signs and symbols and messages but you're still very afraid to move on to move forward so the next two cards that we have here are courage and harmony and then we have the emperor Interesting. So you're very, very protective of yourself and that's where the stubbornness is coming from. You're so protective of yourself that you won't even allow the good to come in. Or even if the, the good is right in front of your face, whatever you're praying for, whatever you're trying to manifest, even if it's right in front of your face, you're afraid to embrace it. You're afraid to take it. Um, so another thing that I do see that needs to happen is you need to shut your ego up. <laughs> like sometimes our ego can consume us and take over and sabotage us. So I, another huge thing that I see is self-sabotage. The emperor here is all about um, the material world. So what it is that you're trying to manifest has a lot to do with the material world 
And I do feel like you have to be brave. There's a lot of inner strength that needs to come from within you so that you can accept all the good things that you deserve. Um, and in this card, we have Ganesh like really energizing and focusing on his sacral chakra. Our sacral chakra has everything to do with creative energy, creation, attraction, manifestation, like creation and manifestation, um, trust and self-confidence, how we feel about ourselves, how we present ourselves to the world. Uh, and so I do feel like there is some struggle there where you're not in harmony with your sacral chakra. So you are being asked to pay attention to your sacral chakra so that you can manifest all the things that you want to manifest in the material world with the emperor here. Emperor is all about manifestation in the material world. So it's put your guard down. It's okay to let your guard down and receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. It's okay for you to accept good things. So will you get what you're praying for? I feel like it's right in front of your face. And you're just very scared to step into it. You're very scared to um, accept it. And it's okay for you to accept it. It's so, it's so, once you accept it, there's going to be a new energy in your mind. Opportunities, ideas, motivations. There's going to be unlimited like opportunities that I see coming to you. But it's so important for you to get out of the dark. Let go of your ego and embrace and accept all the good things in your life. I, I do feel like you have so much going for you, but you don't really allow yourself to accept it. Now, two things that we have here are ground yourself and connect with fire. We have a fire card right neck, right underneath the harmony card of the sacral chakra. This is insane. Okay, so will you get what you're praying for? Yes. Like, a hundred percent yes but it's very important for you to do a little bit of work um, with your sacral chakra and connect with fire now how i would do this is i love having bonfires so i would maybe have a little bonfire in the backyard or you can use candles you can light a candle um, incense another thing is cooking because you are using the stove that's fire so cooking is another way you can activate your sacral chakra Orange colors will activate your sacral chakra, so orange foods, orange candles, orange scented perfumes, and all of that stuff. So connect with fire energy because it's really going to help you activate your sacral chakra. Then we have ground yourself. So sacral chakra is right next to our root chakra. So these are the lower chakras which have a lot to do with earth energy and grounding ourselves. So remember we have earth energy right here. So I do feel like you're very much a lot in your head and that is something that is causing a block um, from you receiving what you're praying for. So it's very important for you to ground yourself, which means connecting. This is an earth, not an earth element. Fire is something that is awakening and um, warming and, you know, brings happiness and brings joy, brings just passion and drive and motivation. It's very passionate energy. So with the sacral chakra, it's like you've lost a lot of passion in your life and you're very stubborn to accept passion into your life, but it's so important for you to do that because it's gonna help you with manifesting what you want. Um, and grounding yourself means to connect with earth energy. So spend more time in nature. I know we are in quarantine right now. So what I like to do is garden. I, I've gotten into that and it really helps me connect with earth energy. Another thing that I like to do is walk barefoot in my yard. It just really, really helps me connect with earth energy as well. So find ways to connect with earth energy because it's going to help you release this stubborn energy. Another thing is to burn some Palo Santo. Palo Santo is a very, very sacred wood and it gets rid of negative energies, gets rid of blocks and stagnations. Um, it's a very, very powerful energy, which is interesting that it's right next to the fire card because you do have to burn the Palo Santo. So I do feel like you're being called to use Palo Santo to activate your sacral chakra and bring out your courage so that you can step out of the darkness and really embrace and accept everything that your ancestors are bringing to you in the material world.
You see how your reading goes so synchronistically together? By the way, if you guys want some Palo Santo, I do sell them on my Etsy shop. And I do sell miniature little abalone shells with it that you can burn and like put in the abalone shell to catch the ash. And abalone is also very magical and majestic in itself. So yeah, if you're interested in that. But I hope that this reading gave you some clarity and guidance. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great weekend. I'll talk to you real soon.